welcome. I'm Keith Lokamp, Senior Director of Healthcare Industry Strategy at Workday. At our sixth, sixth annual Workday Healthcare Summit, we announced the 2020 winners of our Healthcare Innovation Awards. The awards celebrate the success and creativity of our healthcare customers and the impact they have on the rest of the Workday community. We announced winners across four categories, digital transformation, trailblazer, process innovation, and collaboration champion. We received so many great submissions and each winner really excelled in their innovation. I'm excited to have Brittany Graff, Director of Total Rewards at Sanford Health, join me to celebrate their recognition as this year's Trailblazer winner. The Trailblazer Award is designed to recognize customers for taking a pioneering step in their use of Workday as one of the first to implement a new solution. Welcome, Brittany, and congratulations. Thank you. I'm super excited to be here. Well, Brittany, can you say a few words about your organization and your role there? Um, well, Stanford Health, um, we're one of the larger health systems in the United States, specifically the Midwest, um, dedica dedicated to the integrated delivery of healthcare, genomic medicine, senior care services, uh, global clinics research, and affordable health insurance. Um, we're currently headquartered in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Um, we have about 46 hospitals and over 200 Good Samaritan Society senior care locations in 26 states and 10 countries. Uh, we recently will be soon celebrating our two-year anniversary of going live with Workday, so we're really excited to be able to leverage Workday to support our organization. Well, good. Congratulations again. And you know, you won this award for some of your trailblazing work around analytics and, and the use of Prism Analytics. Can you tell us a bit about your innovation? Sure. So um, specific to the healthcare industry, um, we had a global pandemic upon us here at the beginning of the year and our operations really needed a way to analyze our staffing. Um, in doing so, we, we were able to create a dashboard through PRISM and with payroll information partnering with our enterprise data and analytics team to really provide a dashboard for the operations to track individuals on maybe when their department was closed down because we were not doing elective surgeries at that time, but we wanted to float those individuals to um, a COVID unit or somewhere else that they could help with uh, managing some of the operations. So that dashboard really tracked down, maybe our Lone Eats Census or who was floating to what department and when, um, any incentives that we would have paid to employees for picking up additional shifts or anything like that. So we were really able to leverage all of our pay information and time tracking information to show them where their staff were going in a time where it was a little chaotic to manage. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it must have been really kind of difficult to manage that and, and you know, having the needing to have that visibility and really understand what's happening with your workforce. Can you talk a, a bit about some of the, the benefits of having that, that visibility available? Sure. Um, so one of the first and probably the largest benefits, we are able to make sure that our departments were well-staffed and well-organized. Um, ancillary to that, we were able to track employee time accordingly for COVID support, um, which in turn did um, need to be reported for the CARES Act. Mm -hmm. um, but we are also able, like I said, to just support operations and making sure that they were able to manage and staff their buildings appropriately with any available staff that were maybe in a unit that was on low needs, low census. And, and um, did you provide that visibility to the department managers, to the executive teams? Can you share a little bit about who had access to this, this data and, and sure. how frequently was that updated so that they could better manage? Everything? Sure. So because the information was all payroll really related in timekeeping, it was updated on a two week basis through PRISM. Um, we had an internal incident command is what we call it that met daily that reviewed that, um, that dashboard after every pay period closed so they could kind of see the fluctuations between the information over, a, over the two week pay period and comparing to other pay periods. So it was available to that instant command team, which is primarily our executive leadership, but it was also available to um, our HR strategic partners, which support each of our markets as well as their market presidents. So um, mostly kept at that executive level just to make sure that they knew how they were staffing to help their leaders staff those areas. Um, yeah. And did this, did this help you be better prepared now um, coming into the fall as we kind of seen the second wave of, of COVID? 
Yeah, certainly it has. It's kind of nice to have it all up and running. It was already in place. Um, we've added a couple things to it since the initial go live to help them track with both exempt and non-exempt. Um, we've certainly seen a larger influx of census this time than maybe we did uh, earlier in the year. So it certainly helped them um, manage their staffing appropriately. And so uh, I've been amazed at how creative our customers have been with using PRISM as a way to bring together information from multiple sources, not just Workday, but uh, external scheduling and time systems, um, other, other systems as well. Could you talk a little bit about how you use Workday to help support this and, and um, you know, basically solve this, this challenge? Yeah, so our timekeeping system is external. Um, we use what's called um, API, I think by GE Healthcare. Um, we integrate that into Workday, um, I think every pay period. And that information then is what populates the payroll, the appropriate payroll information, which then in turn populates PRISM for our data set. Um, we use PRISM a lot for a lot of things, whether that be this particular dashboard or um, how we go about our merit process or um, a couple other things too. So um, PRISM has been a real key to helping us put some numbers in front of our operators to help make some really well-educated and knowledgeable decisions instead of an anecdotal. And how, I mean, how long did it take you to, to pull this pull this together? You know, um, in times of crisis, <laughs> we work a lot harder and a lot quicker. So I would say that we had this dashboard up and running in maybe two weeks, <laughs> could have been less. It was very, very quick turnaround. So we were responding to a global pandemic and our hospitals were certainly facing it that second where we needed to respond just as quickly. <laughs> Anything next on the horizon for what you're going to, um, you know, either expand on this or new solutions you're going to look to build? You know, we're always we're always innovating. Um, we're always looking for better ways to do things. Um, our organization moves very very quickly when it mm -hmm. comes to wanting to be able to make decisions and have data behind those. So um, I don't know specifically what updates we may need to make to our particular dashboard regarding COVID staffing, but like I said, we use it for a number of other um, areas just within total rewards, let alone HR and our operations team. So um, I'm sure that they're working on something that I'm not aware of right now. Always, always something, always, always. something new, yes. So any final thoughts or advice you'd wanna share with the audience is considering a, a similar, similar type of project or engaging on um, you know, using Prism Analytics? You know, I, I always encourage my team to never be scared. Don't be afraid to ask the, the crazy question because you never know what could come of it. The one thing that I think is so beneficial with our team and how we partner with our payroll teams as well as our enterprise data and analytics team is that we may come up with some, what seems like a crazy idea and what we wanna look at or analyze. And we may not get it exactly what we're looking for, but we certainly get very, very close derivatives of. And large part of that is related to our relationship with our EDA team and what they're able to create for us with the information that we have and what Workday has for capabilities. So I think, I really think the possibilities are endless when it comes to being able to do things. It just may not always look exactly the way you think about it in your head, but don't, don't be afraid of it. <laughs> Great advice, Brittany. So thanks for sharing how you're innovating and of course for being a Workday customer. Congratulations again to Sanford Health on winning the Trailblazer Award. Thanks everyone. Thank you.